Have you guys ever missed somebody that you have never even met? Well, Patrice O'Neill was the guy for me, like that. I never met the guy, but my, oh my, I really wanted to miss this guy. This guy, just from the internet, just through the internet with his work, made a very big impact on me. And it's just not me. Guys all over the world felt the same way about him when they listened to his word. And if you guys don't know who Patrice O'Neill is, I highly suggest you go check his you go check his workout and check him out. I really, really, really want to meet this guy one time or another in my life. And uh, one day I hope that I would have met him, but it's too late. R.I.P. Big man. He left us way too soon. At the age of late 30s, I think, or early 40s, something like that. But he mentioned this in one of his work, one of his videos. He said he was a radio host and a comedian. He wasn't the host, actually. He was an Opie and Anthony show as a comedian. Some of you guys know him. But he mentioned, and uh, by the way, the type of work that he does is relationship advice, dating advice, art, red pill stuff, 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 similar stuff that I do here. He said, there's two types of cheaters, dishonest cheaters and righteous cheaters. And the main difference between these two is the reason behind why you're doing it. Are you cheating because your girlfriend or boyfriend cheated on you? Actually, let's just stick with the men's point of view on this video, okay? For the sake of this video. Are you cheating because your girlfriend cheated on you? Are you cheating because you're trying to get back at her? Are you cheating because, you know, any other reason but why you want to cheat as in sorry any other reason but the reason that you want to cheat because you just want some new booty point being are you putting yourself at the top of your priority list for this cheating or is there something else some sort of uh, revenge some sort of petty reason trying to work, win an argument argument with her you know even if let's say she's doing everything right for you at the home but you are still not happy with everything that she's doing for you and you want to step outside the marriage or the relationship or whatever that is still a righteous cheating because you're doing it to make yourself the first priority and to make yourself happy now, I've mentioned this before in a couple of other videos where I said, if you have to cheat, just get out of the relationship. But I think this is the first point, very first point that I'm going to go in a different route with on my video out of all the things I've said on my channel, out of all the things I've said. And that is, and actually I've been agreeing with this for a while. I just haven't said it out loud in front of you guys. And that is, why? Why would you go outside or step outside of your marriage or your relationship just because you want to get taste a little booty? No. Both of these chicks have their own purpose, have their, have their purposes in, their, in, the, in your life. Your main girl is maybe doing something your side girl cannot do. And your side girl is maybe doing something your main girl cannot do. So why would you leave one or the other? No, get both of them. This freaking racist piece of crap car. Jeez, man. Why do people do this with a piece of crap car but with an ex expensive exhaust? Make it sound like a racer. Dude, anyways. <clears throat> but yeah. You don't have to leave any of them. But then that boils down to one and one thing only. Can you afford that type of lifestyle? Most men can't. And most men don't want to hear this. They want to take that easy short way out. Well, if you can afford that, then go ahead and do it. If that's what you want to do. And this is where a lot of guys will disagree with me. And that's perfectly a-okay. I have mentioned this before that you don't have to agree with everything, every single thing I say on my channel. You don't have to see eye to eye with everything I say. Take some stuff, don't, don't, take, don't take the rest, it's up to you. But this is how I view these things. Okay, and as I said, I've been 
I've had this thought in my head where I continuously ask myself, why? Why would I leave my main chick to go be with my side chick? Because the main chick also has a purpose. The side, chick's, side chick does one too. There's countries all over, all around the world where it's very common actually to have the man, uh, to, uh, for, uh, for the man to have concubines outside of his marriage. And it's kind of looked down upon if he doesn't. Like what's wrong with him? If he's only uh, loyal to one woman, like that's not normal. It's not normal, fellas. It's only in the West where they are uh, brainwashing you into suppressing and, and oppressing your biological needs, your, bio, your biological imperative. Your biological mating strategy was not to just settle with one woman. No, 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 no. You might only choose this one woman to have babies with, but to mate with? No, that wasn't the only woman. Why do you think you're producing millions and millions of sperms every two to three minutes? While women are only given a certain period of eggs, certain number of eggs, and they never re uh, replenish on their supply. It keeps going away from them every month. They don't get any more, and we get more and more sperm every freaking two minutes. That's, your, that's nature telling you that we are supposed to spread our seeds, but do it in a smart way. And don't do it if you're not even anybody worth spreading your seed. Oh yeah, men don't want to hear that. Who are you, bro? You're a nobody. You want to leave your legacy behind? What legacy? Your broke legacy? Because you, you, the children you're going to produce, they're going to come out and be a tax slave just like yourself. You got no knowledge to pass on. I'm not even telling you about passing on your wealth and any kind of real estate, any kind of stocks, money. No, 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 no. Just the knowledge itself. You're blue pill and blue pill as hell. Your kids gonna struggle because they don't have the proper knowledge. That knowledge is like this knowledge I'm, I give you guys uh, day in and day out for free is worth a billion dollars. Where where else are you gonna get this type of knowledge? Just, just tell me where. And you guys still don't subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at, at zpeak 0 right? <laughs> Here's my quick plug, real, real quick. Go follow me on Instagram at zpeak 0 fellas. That's the best way to get a hold of me too if you have any questions or anything is to DM me on there. But uh, yeah, hope this one made sense. Always, always make sure you yourself is your center, uh, is your uh, self of origin. You always prioritize your happiness and your needs over anybody and anything else. And that is the righteous way to cheat. It's also when you're clear and clean to yourself and most like and here's the other thing okay here's the other thing before i end the video another very important point i wouldn't even call it cheating why because as i just said my main girl also has a purpose as my side chick just let your main girl know that hey baby i know you're doing everything right but i'm still not happy and i gotta get my needs met but we're having a great time together we're a great couple together so we don't have to split apart I'm, just, I'm still gonna go out and do what I gotta do, take care of my stuff. But I promise you that I won't be bringing any of that bull crap around the house, around you, around us. And you don't have to know about it, you don't have to hear about it. You'll be safe, you'll get what you deserve, and I'll go get what I deserve. Let her know what's up. Keep everything up front too. Why not? That's the right way to cheat, if you ask me. Alright man, hope this one makes sense and I'll see you in the next one.